Evolution isn't stuck around gypsy moths or microbes or birds. Humans are evolving too, right now. Can you hear it? Hey there, evolved persons. Trace here for D News. We've studied evolution for a long time. We have heaps of evidence showing the path evolution took from the dawn of man all the way to the present day. There are those who deny that we've evolved at all and believe evolution is purely science fiction. But though I really like Nickelodeon's Tomorrow People, X-Men, and Heroes, real human evolution does exist in recorded history. 5,000 years ago in the third millennium BC, humans were in the Bronze Age. Europeans were learning to use metals, the Sumerians were building ziggurats, and the Egyptians were figuring out papyrus. And since then, we've gone through some physiological changes. Humans aren't just smarter, though that's part of it, we've genetically mutated and adapted. A study published in Nature in 2012 analyzed the human genome and found that we are now carrying mutations that didn't exist 5,000 years ago. The 6,500 DNA strands of European and African Americans contained 1.15 million single nucleotide variants. That is to say, a single letter of the ACGT structure of DNA had been mutated versus other individuals. This shows that we've evolved because evolution is simply mutation over time, with some performing better than others. When a group of humans left the cradle of life in Africa en route to Europe, they left behind a broad DNA base, limiting themselves to only their band of explorers. This means European Americans are carrying around more of these single variant mutations because of that smaller initial gene pool. Human evolution continues the way it always has after that, through DNA encoding errors causing adaptation. Whether it's positive or negative is where natural selection plays a role. Geneticists from Africa and Europe analyzed ancient DNA to determine a baseline for our evolutionary change and found that our skin, our hair, and our eye pigmentation has slowly adapted and changed as we've spread. Their research, published by the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, used computer simulations to compare that baseline ancient DNA to modern Europeans to find out how certain genetic mutations affected our bodies. According to their DNA comparisons, ancient Europeans were significantly darker skinned 5,000 years ago. But as we push north, nature kind of weeded out darker skin because it's less efficient at producing vitamin D in a lower UV, cloudier latitude. As there was a lack of vitamin D from the sun, these people needed to get it from their diet instead, which may explain why most of the planet have trouble digesting lactose, except for those who are from the cloudy north of Europe. The evolution of hair and eye color is a little less clear, but there is some basic evidence that blue-eyed people can see better in the dark. Really basic evidence, guys. This is just my thought, but perhaps these cloudier places maybe influence lighter eye color as well. More study is needed for sure. Unfortunately, because of the limited gene pool, not all the mutations are going to be good. 14% of them are actually potentially harmful, possibly causing diseases and stuff. Oh, Mother Earth, thou art a heartless wench. Do you feel evolved? Click the like if you do and the dislike if you don't. Because some days I do when I've had good sleep and a nice, you know, meal. But tell us your feelings in the comments below this video as well. Subscribe for more D News and thanks for watching.